friends, welcome to our first online celebration of St. Patrick's Day in Tanzania. My name is Mary O'Neill and I'm the newly arrived Irish ambassador to Tanzania. It is a delight and a privilege for me to represent Ireland in a country where we have such a long and enduring relationship. The ties that link us go back generations. Irish women and men came to Tanzania as teachers, health workers, missionaries and development professionals. Committed to Tanzania and benefiting from the warm welcome they received. Our partnership today has grown from these roots and matured. We have a strong bilateral programme where the Irish and Tanzania governments work in partnership on issues where we have shared interests. We have an active Irish community and a growing number of Tanzanian friends who have studied and lived in Ireland. We have private sector, business and economic linkages. And on the international stage, Ireland and Tanzania are firm friends. This year at the Embassy, we are in a phase of reflection and renewal. Our 217 to 21 mission strategy is in its final year. During this time, in partnership with the government of Tanzania, we have supported thousands of health centres deliver quality services to their communities. Our work with civil society organisations and our UN partners has contributed to improved nutrition, access to clean water, and fostering climate smart livelihoods for young Tanzanian women and men. We have seen a growing number of Tanzanians receive fellowships to study in Ireland. Indeed, it was President Julius Nerere who initiated the first scholarships to Irish universities following his state visit to Ireland in 1970. Today, many Irish institutions have linked with Tanzanian partners, working on exciting initiatives, such as training future digital coders and facilitating innovation in the field of paediatric oncology. As we look to the next phase of our engagement, we are excited about building and strengthening our partnership with Tanzania. We look forward to strengthening economic and trade relationships, fostering cultural exchanges, strengthening our people-to-people -people linkages, and working as global partners with shared commitments on climate change, gender equality, peace building, and working towards a prosperous and sustainable future for all. As we look back over the last year, there is no doubt that the COVID-19 global pandemic has impacted on so many aspects of our lives. We have lost friends, relatives, leaders and statesmen. Our work and the rhythm of our lives have been disrupted. I am conscious that at this time of the year, the Irish community and friends of Ireland in Tanzania would normally be gathering together to meet and catch up. However, we are hopeful that as we emerge from the pandemic, we will have ample opportunity to renew acquaintances and build new friendships. And now it is my great honour to introduce Taoiseach Michal Martin. Thank you, Ambassador. And I would like to wish you and everyone in Tanzania a very happy St. Patrick's Day. A card of gael is a card of lair. Los pashilta e la ela podrig, the gach gael sawalya nu har lar. St. Patrick's Day is a special day, a day when no matter where in the world we are, we celebrate our heritage and culture. So let me begin by wishing you all a happy St. Patrick's Day to our 70 million strong diaspora and our many friends across the globe. This has been a difficult year for our Irish community abroad. Many of you have lost loved ones. You have been unable to spend time with family and friends. You have missed Christmas, birthdays, weddings, and sadly, even funerals. I want in particular to acknowledge and thank the many Irish who have helped lead the fight against COVID-19, our dedicated health workers at home, but also the many Irish doctors and nurses research scientists and public health officials around the world. Many of you have put yourselves and your families at risk so that others might be safe. But now at last, we can look forward to better days. 
St. Patrick's Day is our day, but that doesn't mean it is only for us. St. Patrick's Day is an open-hearted invitation to a global expression of community. It's a day that gives us a unique opportunity to speak to the world about who we are and how we can contribute to the well-being of humanity. There is, I believe, an ambition that we all now share, that we will learn from what has happened and that our responses will reflect both our interconnectedness and our interdependence. Just as the pandemic has brought out the best in us, we can use the same instincts to shape the future, bringing new meaning and values to our lives and to our role in the world. We are Irish, but we are also global citizens. COVID-19 has reminded us that we need global solutions and international cooperation for global challenges, that no nation, large or small, can meet these challenges on their own. St. Patrick's Day is an opportunity for us, this year especially, to express that sense of solidarity. Ireland is an open country, an outward facing place. Irish people have always sought to make a contribution wherever they have gone. The same wish to serve inspires us now. We will work with partners around the world to overcome the dreadful pandemic and to support economic and social recovery. In doing so, we will work to make sure that nobody, especially the poorest parts of the world, gets left behind. We've taken up a seat on the UN Security Council for the next two years, and we will use that position to work for peace and security throughout the world to the very best of our ability. We will continue to reach out a hand of friendship and hopefully, when we can, to welcome people back to Ireland, including those of you that have been unable to visit in recent times. As Irish people down the ages have done, we will try to make a difference every day, no more so than here on our island. As we approach the centenary of the foundation of our state, building on the achievement of the Good Friday Agreement, we will work through our shared island initiative to underpin peace and to advance the cause of reconciliation, shaping a better future for all the people. Our history, our culture, our values and our experience place us in a position to do great good in the world. There is an Irish saying, is there a achele a varan nadini? We live in each other's shadow. It speaks to our sense of interdependence, of community and solidarity. Let that be our message on this special day for the global Irish. And so to conclude, we are thinking of you all today as you celebrate throughout the world. We are looking forward to welcoming you all home soon. Until then, Berbua, Benacht, Agusgrav Mila Mahagav Galer. Thank you, Taoiseach. St. Patrick's Day is a time to celebrate the brilliance and diversity of contemporary Irish creative talent. Next, we are delighted to share with you a small sample of this artistic inspiration. We have joining us Saint Sister with the piece called Dynamite, followed by an enthusiastic group of young dancers bringing their joy of Irish dance from Leitrim, Sligo, Roscommon, and as far as New York. For this special performance of their song Dynamite, the enchanting harmonies of Saint Sisters Gemma Doherty and Morgan McIntyre are accompanied by musicians from Crash Ensemble in the glorious setting of Derry's Guild Hall. I guess it's time we talked about the funny way you move your mouth when you look at me. I guess I always knew, but then a part of me was crying when you said, OK, let's talk. Darling, what did you expect? My lover hasn't noticed yet what's happening. I don't want to watch the train, always heavy or more rain and dynamite. Walk 
me to the northern end of Cable Street And I'll pretend it's meant to be Passers-by do not react when you give me a heart attack I will my back Never mind what people say I'll talk to you whatever way I want to Something by last night is to Something to the light Let's call it On a sunny weekend last year, 41 children from Ork Dausa Dance Club became a choreography and film collective, dancing to the music of the Bothy band in favourite places near their homes in Leitrim, Sligo, Roscommon, Mayo, Fermanagh, Longford and New York. Together, they have created this shared celebration.
On behalf of our team at the Embassy of Ireland in Tanzania, I would like to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day, or as we say in Ireland, Loela Podrick Sonayev Galair. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Heri ya skuku ya mtakatifu Sante Patrick. Heri ya mtakatifu Patrick. Loela Podrick Sonagwe. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Heri ya skuku ya St. Patrick. I hope we can all meet up again this time next year. But right now, have a happy St. Patrick's Day.